Thank you for being patient. This is the one that you've been waiting for. This is GOAT or the GOAT's wool paper or <laughs> white paper review. Let's engage. Okay. First page, of course, the introduction. We're going to go over the GOAT token, the GOAT feeder, tokenomics, the roadmap, everything important. Okay. So I broke, you know how I do the white paper review. I just break down what's really important for you to understand. Okay, first thing, the GOAT mechanisms promise a lifetime filled with frictionless passive rewards. Just like Billy Goats scaling the steep cliffs on the mountain goats navigating the treacherous slopes, the GOAT token thrives in the harshest conditions, ensuring a secure and prosperous journey for its holders. Now, the, to the GOAT token protocol is a beacon of strength backed by the mighty PLS or the Pulse, ensuring that its value only ascends, never to descend. Now, much like a mountain goat's steady ascent, goat's value follows a linear path fully fortified by single side liquidity and backing. Now, to further nurture the goat, behold the feeder. It's the perpetual bond system. It's a lifeline for the illustrious creature, the goat. Now, to the command the power and its benefit, one must put in $200 of dye. When you commit your die to this endeavor, it mints the GOAT tokens, now growing its value and rest of the ecosystem. This ensures that the feeder can pay its liabilities reminiscent of the shepherd tending to their flock of goats on the mountainside. So again, in order to mint your GOAT tokens, you're going to have to start with at least a minimum of $200 in die. That's the intro. Now the GOAT token, the greatest of all time. It's a PRC compliant token deployed on the Pulse chain. It was created by Pulse chain, of course, it was created by Richard Hart to solve his problems. That and the, whew, the fees, <laughs> outrageous fees that was on the ETH network. Now, the GOAT is backed 100% by WPLS at all times. It's impossible to mint tokens without depositing a sufficient amount of WPL of the wrapped Pulse to back the token. Please understand that this creates an elastic supply, which is responsive to the relevant demand of the protocol. Now, understand these, these points. 0% buy and sell and transfer fees. 5% mint and redeem fee that is minimal only by depositing the wrap PLS. Redeemable anytime. So you can sell 24-7, 365 for WPLS. And it's backed with a single-sided liquidity. It is fully ERC-20 compatible. Now, just like, of course, it's the greatest of all time, the GOAT can be minted at any time by depositing your WPLS and redeemable any time for, again, WPLS. So every mint and redemption of the GOAT incurs a 5% fee on the amount of PLS that you deposit, which gets permanently locked into the single side of liquidity, increasing the floor price of GOAT. That's what we're here for. The price of the mint goat is also the value of one whole goat token, which is essentially is how much PLS, how much PLS would you receive if you were to redeem one goat token? So, it, it, you know, it equals out because of the 5% fee on every mint and redemption of goat. This price point can only go up. The goat feeder. This is the passive income play right here. The GOAT feeder is a specialized engine aimed at delivering steady cash flow to its participants. A daily rate of 0.5% ensures consistent emissions while sustaining an underlying ecosystem. So you, whatever you put in there, you can earn 5% per day. You know it's always about the daily passive income or the DPI. Now, the GOAT feeder requires a minimum deposit of 200 die to get started. You begin earning a steady 0.5% every 24 hours. You can claim your earnings in the GOAT feeder at any time. To compound your earnings, you will need to deposit an additional and fresh 200 die. Claiming your earnings lowers... Okay, now this is a point that you need to overstand. Claiming your earnings lowers your earning power and overall entitlement in the GOAT feeder. So we need to be strategic when you decide that you want to be partaking of your funds. Now, upon deposit, the die is swapped for WPLS, which then mints the GOAT tokens, and that goes into the GOAT pin contract. Now, the GOAT pin is a reserve recipient of, you know, and it just collects all of the fees, the 5% here from 
the minting or redeeming or whatever it is. Now, upon claim, the rewards are dispensed from the die buffer pool. Now, if the top up is required, the gold is, will be liquidated. Some of the tokens will be liquidated into the WPLS, which buys die and it goes back into the buffer pool. So there's always a cushion in there to maintain the, the, the level that's desired. Now, the partner network. Now, this is really your, the referral program. They call it the partner network. Share your address. You don't have to worry about no codes, no barcodes, no copy paste or anything. Just like that, just share your wallet address. When the referrer shares the wallet address, you can head over to the GoFeeder page, enter the address, hit set up refer, you're done. Now, whenever you claim, 1% of your claim value is cut in half and shared between both you and your refer as a referral rewards. Did you understand that? You're getting essentially you're getting a kickback, a half of percent from just being a refer. Mm -mm -mm. Now, you can accept these rewards by performing a standard compound transaction in the feeder. Share your address. The tokenomics. This is the way the page was. I'm assuming we OK, well, we know about the GO token and we know about the feeder, how the feeder works. The feeder is the passive income play. So you have the goat pin, the buffer that we just discussed, and of course they the feeder feeds the goat token to, to have him continually grow. The roadmap. The goat token is the core of the DGEN protocol on Pulse Chain. The goat feeder, you have the ability to passively create an income of half a percent daily cash flow on DAI, powered by the goat. Now the goat lending. This is down the line. Will you be able to borrow against your PLS, against your GOAT, with the positions represented as specialized NFTs? Then there's the DGEN NFTs, which will mint items of six different tiers. You stake to earn a share of the 1% of rewards silo as GOAT. Then, of course, the Spark Swap and Future Partners DGEN protocol. You have listings GOAT in the facilities within the project and partners and the friends. As always, it's for informational educational purposes only, never intended as any type of financial advice because I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just here just sharing the information with the legends in reference to the GOAT protocol because everybody's been waiting for this. This is the opportunity to get in on the ground floor of a ROI, a daily ROI protocol on Pulse Chain. So do your due diligence, do your research, get in where you fit in. And remember that when it comes to crypto, this is an individual endeavor. Do what's best for you, your family, and your family's finances because no one knows your finances, no one knows your circumstances, but you. And ensure that you don't use money that you need for your mortgage, your car note, or your kids' college funds. Do not do that. This should be money that you're willing to lose because everything in crypto is risky. Some have better risk um, levels than others. It is what it is. We have a great team here. And like I say, you know, do your own research and you make the decision whether you want to get in or not. As always, all I ask is that you please like, share, comment and subscribe. And to all of the legends out there, engage.